Hello there, Pokemon Pit Beta. My name is Etika, and I have about three other videos uploaded to the Mosh Pit, so I'm not new to this. However, I ran into a little bit of an issue when making my last Pokemon team, and I learned something from that. And I hope that you learned something from it as well. And the issue itself is fully described in the following video clip. I'm not gonna lie to you. You guys want more Pokemon battles, and yet. I pretty much made a competitive set of every single Pokemon that I've ever wanted to use in my entire career of Pokemon battles. So now, I've resorted to this. Hello everyone. This is Christine. And she is my lovely girlfriend. Now Christine, I'm going to resort to asking her to choose Pokemon for me. So, okay. Now, Christine. I'm going to use these Pokemon. Now, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not doing this for show. I'm actually going to use these Pokemon and <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so which Pokemon would you like me to use in a battle? Really? Yes, really. Okay. Um. <laughs> 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 Even if they're not evolved. <laughs> No! <laughs> Alright, Del Caddy. Del Caddy? Oh god. What next? Um. Torkoal isn't any gold. Yeah. Wait, no, no. It's okay. If, as long, if they have one form, then it's alright. Alright. Um. It's been a while, doesn't it? <laughs> you want me to use Torkoal? No. I forgot the name of the Pokemon, but it looks like a giant flower. But, like. A menacing looking flower. Victory Bell? No, no, no. It was in um, Ruby Sapphire. You mean, um, Cradily? Yeah. Cradily, okay. What else? Um. Last evolved form of the X. You mean, you want me to use Vanillux? Yes! Oh my god. Why? <laughs> <laughs> use Raichu. Raichu, really? Raichu. Okay. Use. Wailord. Wailord? A fire Pokemon? Okay. Yeah. What kind of fire Pokemon? The kind that gets booty. Okay, he gets booty. That's very descriptive. Magmatar. What? Oh no, that's not. That Ma Magmar? Magmar. Yeah, Magmar. Why do I think Magmatar? Because they always end in R. You're okay. going to get fucked up. <laughs> Alright. Alright, no bullshit. I really wrote down all the names of all these Pokemon. I'm probably going to lose my next match, but I mean, whatever the case may be, let's take a look and see how fucked up Christine made. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I love her to death. Yeah, thank you, Christine. You're welcome. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> this should be interesting. I mean, the builds that, oh, well, the Pokemon, rather, that I got were highly unconventional, so um, I'm looking forward to using them. Lopini? I was able to convince Christine to let me use Lopini instead of Delcaddy, so that's where their replacement came in. Because Delcaddy, I don't know if you've seen its stats, but that that's, that's not a fully evolved Pokemon. <laughs> that, that Pokemon is not fully evolved. But anyways, so I have Lopini here. Max speed, max special defense. To be able to take some special defensive hits, just to be a little bit of a wall, it has really good special defense. And um, I gave it Thunder Wave, so it'll be able to slow Pokemon down for the slower threats on my team to be able to do some damage. Then you have Magmar. I didn't know what the hell to do, so I gave him Max Attack, Max Speed, Belly Drum, and um, Eviolite. So maybe he'll be able to take a hit, Belly Drum, and then get some damage going, you know? Something nice. And then you have Vanillix. I'm actually very proud of my Vanillix build. I gave it Iron Defense and Max Defense in EVs as well. So it'll be able to take a hit, activate the Weak Armor Dream World ability, and be able to move fast to sweep some stuff up with its high special attack. That was my thought on that. Then you have Waylord, your standard um, Choice Scarf, um, Water Spout build, Raichu, you have your Nasty Plotting, Thunderbolting, Shimshakian, Cam Hawking build, and then you have your final Cradley build. Max HP, Max Special Defense, Curse Set, need I say more? Anyways, I'm really looking forward to this match. Um, 
his Pokemon are obviously on a whole nother level, but I mean, into, that's only in tiers. When true usage, you can use anyone. Let's go. Leads, I lead, I thunder wave because I knew I'd be able to take a hit from Azelf since most of them are special. But um, he U turns out, I was able to thunder wave Darmanitan and I know he's going to kill something. So I go into Magmar to be able to take the Flare Blitz. And even with the Evil Light, it does over half, dude. I can't even belly drum at this point. So I try to spare Gourmet and I go into my Whale Lord who um i hope he can take a flare blitz but something's telling me it wasn't going to be able to luckily he switches out goes into victini i'm thinking choice scarf all day baby i'll be able to outrun this thing he goes into whimsicott so um okay can he switch into anything else i'm looking at his team and he has nothing else that can take a water spout from Wailord. and look at that it almost does half to whimsicott so i'm gonna be able to pressure this thing until it dies he substitutes as most of them do but um the water spout keeps coming and since i estimated he won't be able to switch into anything luckily i can play this waylord safe right now but i don't want it to get hit or take any damage because once it does that water spout isn't going to be doing as much now this whimsicott leech seeds which isn't a really a good thing but man it doesn't really matter at the end of the day what happens is after i kill it here he goes into tornadoes now, Tornadus is bad because how fast is it going to be? If he's faster than me and he thinks he's faster, he'll be able to kill me. But if he doesn't know that he's faster, you see, it's a, it's a battle of speed, man. Guess he thought I would switch, so he got cocky and stayed in and went for the bulk up. And with the acrobatics, I knew I wasn't gonna live it. Oh well, Willow did his job. The Magmar was basically fodder. I thought that I'd be able to kill him with the mock punch, but fuck it. Anyways, he goes for the acrobatics with no item to Vanillix. With Vanillix's defense EVs, will I be able to live this hit and then retaliate? He already has a bulk up up and he used a stab no item acrobatics. I live it with 34 HP, activates the weak armor, defense falls down, speed goes up. I'm going to be able to sweep, dude. Frostbeck right to the face. If he lives this, this is not Earth. He dies, and a critical hit. Well, you know it, Frostbreath is always a critical hit, but yeah, he goes down. I have room for one more attack after my life orb. With the speed boost, I'm going to be able to... Nope, he kills me right here. Fuck. Anyways, so um, Vanillix goes down, but I really feel proud of that set, man. Like, take a hit, speed goes up. I really like that set. Anyways, Victini comes in. I go in with Lopini, and I'm thinking I'm faster, because I saw that he had like a life orb or something i can't even remember uh whatever he had um a psychic doesn't kill me yeah it's a life orb yeah and um luckily here's what i was thinking now my cradily has special defense evs i'll be able to take the psychic like it's nothing force him to stay on the psychic with the encore cradily will be able to switch in safely he won't have anything to hit me with because he'll only be able to have the psychic cradily comes in i set up a few curses i'll be able to take any hit after that so he's stuck on Psychic now, right? My special defense is already maxed, and I start cursing up. Now let's see if my plan works here. Second curse. Now Darmanitan comes in, and of course I'm worried. 
a superpower, you know it's going to do a lot of damage to Cradle Lee. Even with two curses, I have no defense investment. I have HP, but no defense. So will the two curses be able to help me live this superpower? I don't even know if they'll be able to... <laughs> oh my goodness, Darmanitan, I'm sorry, but you've been excused, brother. Like, just go have a seat, please. Get your Donkey Kong looking ass out of here. Darmanitan is taken down. Cradily, with just two curses, no defense investment, is able to take a superpower from a Darmanitan. That's not a joke. Victini gets paralyzed, Cradily comes through, recovers. By the way, did you see how Cradily took that psychic earlier from Victini with the life orb? I'm telling you, dude, Cradily is so overlooked. Christine, thank you very much for having me put this thing on my team. He goes for the stab life orb V create from Victini. Most likely it's a adamant natured Victini. I don't know. It doesn't do barely anything. Neutral. That's crazy to me, dude. I go through Stone Edge. That's it. Victini's done. And now I'm really, really looking forward to this. But he has um, Azelf left. He has a Dusk Lops left. Dusk Lops, yeah. I'm not sure what he's going to pull off. Um, he goes into Azelf, goes for the Ice Punch. At this point, he's just throwing things at Cradily, and it's like not doing barely anything. With the Recover as well, I don't have to worry about Residual. Anyway, let's see how this goes. This is the first Toxic, and he should have done that way earlier, because Cradily Toxic isn't good, because I have nothing to help me from that, as with any wall, except this, if it's Steel type, but anyways, um, he goes for the Toxic again, hits me this time, but I got a curse up, so I'm not too worried, oh, fourth, oh my god, <laughs> anyways, so um, at this point, I guess it was a question, who's faster, because I have a lot of curses, so I'm really slow, but his Duskinar is naturally slow, so who's faster here, you know? So I guess that's what made him go for the pain split. So he's now faster than me, but he didn't mean to do that because he helped me out there. I go for the stone edge and it's eight, wait, no, so it's not even close. Let me not get too hasty here. But um, his Duskonar, um, it gets taken out by this stone edge. And then afterwards, his Azelf is going to be left. And it's going to be able to kill Cradily. But then all I'll have left is Raichu against Azelf. What will happen at that confrontation? After the battle, he said that his Azelf was choice banded, and I never saw a set like that, but it seemed pretty cool. Good match, man. I have only one thing to say at the end of this battle. I have something big planned. Something big. And the only way you're going to be able to find out about what I have planned is if you head to my channel and look at my latest video. This is going to be huge. And on that note, thank you for having me, Pokemon Beta. I will see you all later. My name is Etika, and please take care of yourself.